This is a follow-up to our introductory video on vehicle routing and scheduling with ODL Studio. The last video showed ODL Studio running on data in the United Kingdom, but ODL Studio works worldwide anywhere covered by OpenStreetMap. In this video we'll show you how to configure ODL Studio for different countries. First, a brief recap on ODL Studio. It's an open source solution for automatic vehicle fleet scheduling. ODL Studio efficiently plans deliveries from your depots. It also models more complex routing problems such as pickup and delivery problems. It's built on top of many other great open source projects and uses open data, so it's completely free to use. To use ODL Studio in different countries, you really only have to do two things. Number one, geocode your stops for your country of interest, which means get latitude and longitudes for them. Number two, you need to build a graph hopper road network graph for that country. You can do worldwide geocoding in ODL Studio using the OpenStreetMap nominating project. ODL Studio seamlessly integrates the nominating web service, making it easy to geocode addresses held in an Excel spreadsheet. Here I have some US address data which is missing geocodes. I select Nominatum using ODL Studio's component wizard, having first selected the sheets containing my addresses. I then check the fields expected by the geocoder are correctly hooked up with the fields in my table. I tell it to geocode in the US as this helps it. Finally, I enter my email address, which is a requirement of OpenStreetMap's nominating web service. I then save this setup as a script to my hard drive so I don't have to configure it again. I press the icon to start geocoding. My first address is matched exactly so I just click on the top result button and go to the next one. As soon as I click it, the latitude and longitudes are filled in in my spreadsheet. My second address got no matches. Something is confusing nominating. I try removing elements from the address until I get a match. And my next one matches exactly again. If you deliver to the same locations regularly, you should geocode them once only and then store the latitude and longitudes in your customer database. The next step is to build the Graph Hopper Road Network Graph. ODL Studio uses the Graph Hopper project to calculate driving times from OpenStreetMap data. You can see Graph Hopper in action if you go to their website www.graphhopper.com. To build the Graph Hopper Graph, first download the OpenStreetMap extract for your country from GeoFabric's download site and then use the Graph Hopper command line tool to build the graph. Don't worry if this looks complex, 
there's a simple step-by-step -step guide on our website. In our first YouTube tutorial on vehicle routing, we showed you how to create a vehicle routing script. Here's one we created earlier. We double clicked on the script file name in ODL Studio to open it. Now we navigate to the settings item. We change distances to road network. And we then put the location of our newly built road network graph into this configuration box. Finally, we save the script and then click the icon to run. We are now optimizing our routes using a French road network. We let the optimizer tick over for a few seconds. The longer it runs for, the more efficient routes it will find. We then look at the generated routes in the map, available under the View Solution option. We make the map a bit bigger so we can see the routes better. Here we have a solution we've created for the Greater New York area in America and here we have one for Istanbul in Turkey. So to conclude, Open Door Logistics Studio works anywhere that's OpenStreetMap data. It's open source so you can download and use it for free. If you want help getting started feel free to contact us and ask about our configuration, integration and training packages. And that's at www.opendoorlogistics.com.